and welcome back and um today's video is inspired by jesse v's creepypasta series so um yeah i'm a huge fan of jesse v so um go subscribe to her and so today's video as it is inspired by her is a pikmin creepypasta and also some creepy facts about pikmin and stuff like that this is also inspired by her twisted nostalgia series before we get into this video i just wanted to say a bit of stuff about covid 19. i know like a lot of you guys are pro probably all of you guys are in quarantine right now just please just stay home and so we can stop the spread of this virus and um eventually this will all be over if we all just stay home so so now that we're done with this intro, let's just get into the actual video. So a bit of like a background information about Pikmin. Um, Pikmin is a video game made by Nintendo about a man named Almar crashing onto an, an uncharted planet called, and he refers to it as the Pikmin planet, because that's where he discovers these really like weird creatures that are basically like plants that have the abilities of an animal and it's really cool so because his ship crashed there he lost many of its parts and like the engine and stuff like that so he needs to pick to find them and he only has 30 days to do so and yeah it's a really cool game despite the fact that th this is a, like a really cool game that i grew up playing a lot and i love this game so much i even have a shirt on right now i have an i have a yellow pikmin one but today i'm wearing the blue pikmin fight me shirt and but anyways so um there are some pretty weird and creepy facts about this game that i want to get into and then we're gonna get into a creepy pasta story that i found on the internet and if i can find the link i'll definitely put it in, in the description and yeah so the first creepy fa fact about pikmin is the pikmin planet is actually earth which is the planet that we are living on right now which i think is pretty interesting because another fact is that the way that earth was made in the game is how scientists predict that our planet will look like in 250 billion years and i find that really interesting not very like creepy but also extremely interesting because like that means that maybe at some point in in time like there will be no more humans on earth and we, we will be replaced by these other creatures and i just think that's super cool and yeah so another pretty creepy fact is the really weird enemies that you have to face in this game and there are like a lot of weird enemies but one of the freakiest that i have fought which is in and this is in the second pikmin game and it is the water wraith so in the second pikmin game there's this new mechanic where you can explore like dungeons and caves and stuff and it's super cool but the really weird thing is that if you spend more than five minutes on, on one floor of the dungeon and there are only five luckily because some have like 14 floors and i'm gonna get into those but um each floor of this dungeon, which is known as the Submerged Castle, if you spend more than five minutes trying to collect all the treasure there, then a water wraith will fall from the sky. Well, not really the sky, because you're underground, but it will fall from somewhere, like the ceiling or something, and it's so freaky because it will literally chase you until you reach the fifth floor. Obviously, there's a different one for like each floor. Like Once it starts chasing you on one floor, just go to the next floor and it won't chase you anymore, and then a new one will chase you after five minutes but yeah it's just really freaky because like it's just it's just disturbing because the music in the submerged castle i'll play it for you guys right now like an actual song which like really freaks me out and um i think it's just the sound of hearing the water race just fall from the ceiling and the whole cutscene that you have to get when you first find him it's it's just like it's honestly super freaky <laughs> We've 
already gotten to like a lot of creepy facts about Pikmin, there is this creepypasta store that I found on the internet and it's super freaky. Um, not like totally freaky, but it just creeped me out when I first read it and I'm just glad that this did not happen to me when I first started playing the first Pikmin game. This 20 year old guy named Cody finally gets the first Pikmin game onto his Nintendo Wii. So when he does, he puts the disc in and once he chooses a ship's log and he goes through all the cutscenes and stuff, he finally starts controlling Olimar and he goes to the onion which is where you're supposed to go in the beginning of the game. And then, the, the end is what's supposed to do in the game, nothing, nothing weird is going on, it takes the sprouts out of Pikmin seed, and yeah. And it plucks it out, more cutscenes, and then you have to go to the part where you throw your Pikmin out of Palat Posey. So, basically how Pikmin reproduce is, they take like the pellet from a Palat Posey, or they can do they can do this with like also like corpses of creatures, and they put it into the onion, and then um, the onion takes the nutrients to make more Pikmin, and because Pikmin are like plants, but they just have the characteristics of an animal, I guess. So Cody takes his Pikmin to the Pellet Posey, and when the Pellet Posey goes into the onion, a text box appears and says, "No Pikmin for you, Cody." And this is honestly really freaky, because like this isn't supposed to happen. This didn't happen, because like. The, there's supposed to be a cutscene where two other Pikmin sprouts come out of the onion, but this this didn't happen. So first off, he's freaking out because somehow the game knows his name, and secondly, he just needs more Pikmin. So he takes the Pikmin to another Palaposi, and the same text box appears. So he turns off the Wii, and he and later he goes back to the game, and when it goes to the title screen, it doesn't show the actual title screen, which is supposed to be just Pikmin. It says it's game over, Cody. And this is on. This is like really freaky. This is like a really freaky thing, thing to go through. But you see, you hit a the A button. You go to this like menu. You can you can do like challenge mode, or do just do story mode. And that's how it works. But there was like no press A thing on the screen, and it just said ga it's game over and stuff. And then suddenly his Wii started melting, which is like the worst thing ever because he still has other games on it, <laughs> and he can't play with them anymore. <laughs> And it's not funny though, it's like really freaky. And I mean, he manages to call his friend and then he like lives, of course. But it's still like super freaky because like that kind of stuff won't just like happen, okay? So, yeah. Obviously, like Nintendo didn't tell me that any of this stuff was true, like the creepypasta story. It's just creepy facts that I found when I was playing the game. But obviously they're not linked to any sort of creepy thing that I know. Nintendo did not contact me to make this video. So like, this video has like nothing to do with like Nintendo itself. It's just to talk about the game and stuff. And um, the creep- I don't know if the creepypasta is a true story. And I'm not saying that it is. I'm just saying that it could be- it, it might be false, but it could be a true story too. And Nintendo does not approve of it being true or false. I don't even know if it knows the creepypasta exists. But um- so that was this video inspired by Jesse V's Twisted Nostalgia series. Um, it was on Pikmin. Let me know in the comments below if you want to make a part two to this video or make like a video similar to this with like maybe like a childhood show or another video game. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and bye. Mm.